Now we come to the muscles of the neck and the thorax. These are the epaxial muscles. Those are the muscles that located dorsal to the transverse processes of the vertebrae and the hip axial muscles and those are the muscles located ventral to the transverse processes of the vertebrae. Starting with the neck region, we start with these two muscles, the longus capitis and the longus colli. Okay. The longus capitis is located on the lateral aspect of the cervical vertebrae. It is this muscle, it is this muscle here, okay? If we move the trachea and the esophagus, okay, and the carotid sheath, or the common carotid artery here, we can expose the longus colli. And the longus colli extends all the way from the ventral aspect of the body of the sixth thoracic vertebrae and it go all the way and insert on the body of the atlas or the ferris cervical vertebrae, while the longus capitis is running on the lateral aspect of the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae and attached to the occipital bone. So we have longus colli on the ventral aspect here and longus cavities here on the lateral on the lateral aspect. So longus colli and longus cavities. Now when we move okay, to the muscles of the thoracic wall, the first one we're gonna start with is this muscle here. And this is the sclenus muscle. And you can see it has more than one slip, two or or three. All this muscle here and here represent the sclenus. It's originate from the lateral aspect of the first few ribs and go and insert on the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae. 